one more the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Please come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of a living one Spirit of the Ancient One Come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of a living one. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the weight of your glory and let the weight of your glory fall. Watch this. The Bible says, Call unto me, and I will answer you. Jeremiah 3, I mean 33, 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you. And then not just answer you, what will I do? I will show thee great and mighty things that have been hidden over time about your life about your assignment about your purpose there are things i can show you that nothing else no one else can reveal call on to me just call me your responsibility is to put a call through call me and i will show you great mighty things about your life i know you've been crying to find this purpose for two years for three years, for four years, Lord, am I called? Am I not called? Lord, am I supposed to be a businessman or a politician? Lord, am I going into fashion or, or entertainment? Where are you sending me? You've done everything possible. You don't seem to find it out. I show you a way. The Bible says, call unto me. Call unto me. Call unto me. And I will show you great, mighty things. Two more scriptures on this. The Holy Spirit, when he partners with you, you can't walk in darkness. No, you can't walk in error. When he's the one, you can't walk in darkness. Psalm 119 verse 18. Never. Open down my eyes that I might behold the worst things. Open down my eyes. Listen, Paul the Apostle prayed that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, right? That you might know this is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. He is the one that opened. Listen, opening of the eyes is a miracle in itself. Are you aware? Open my eyes. There are a lot of people finding it. Lord, what is my purpose? They've tried everything possible. Everything. They've done everything. He can open your eyes. For the opening of the eyes belongs to the Lord. The opening of the ears belongs to the Lord. The opening of the heart's understanding belongs to the Lord. He can open your eyes. Jesus told his disciples, he said, it is important for you that I go away. When I'm gone, I will send you the spirit of truth. When he is come, when he is come, John 16, 12, he said he will show you things that are even yet to come. He will guide you into these things, paraphrasing now. When he is come, the Holy Spirit, he can show you. He can open your eyes to them. I have yet many things to say unto you even about your life i have many things to say unto you he said but you cannot handle them now you can't be at them but when he is come he will show you he will show you now listen if you have been confused for a while i want you to create a special time with the lord lord why am i here why am i here why did you create me i didn't come to mark time i didn't come here as an escort i can't be escorting people your relevance is tied to what you were created to do if you attempt to do something else believe me you will be causing more troubles than solutions and hope you know that it's not yet uh validated as a call until it can solve problems yeah until it can solve problems 
And if you've not found it, you will cause more troubles. More troubles. The Holy Spirit is not just a pointer. He's a revealer. No, he reveals it. He opens it up to you. With precision. With accuracy. He can show you. For many of you, the way he begins to show you is through your dreams. Yeah. You sit and you are asking the Lord, Lord, why am I here? Only for you to lie down that night and then you see yourself. Helping little children. Or that night you wake with me, you are sleeping and you have a dream. You are standing on the crowd before you, ministering the word of God. For many of you, you see yourself in a seminar, teaching on leadership. Are you supposed to be a leadership coach? Is there a call for you around that area? He can show it to you through dreams. And for many of you, one day you are just sitting with the word of God. He can open you up to a scripture that becomes a description of your life assignment. One dear lady that is called into the fashion came to me one day and said, Daddy, one day I was studying the book of Genesis and I saw where Adam saw fig leaves to cover himself and that's where I found my assignment. No, you see it? And then God went and saw clothes, sheepskin, and brought for them. And then God began speaking to me through that scripture and I found the name of my company. That day I found it I was supposed to be a fashion designer. I've told you that your identity is in this world. It's in here is in here. He can open your eyes. He can show you. Just spend time with him. Holy Spirit, and listen, even if it takes you one year, keep praying it. Stay with him. Stay with him. Like he did to Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. I've ordained you to be a problem solver, not a problem giver. Hallelujah. If you've tried everything, and it's not working. This is the last option. Believe me. When you have a problem, let's assume we buy a gadget and then we are finding difficulties within it. Where do you take it to? Is it not the manufacturer? You return it back. And you were sent from somewhere. You were sent from somewhere. You were a gadget sent here for an assignment. If you can't find it, return back to the, I mean, the maker. Lord, I'm here now. I've forgotten what you told me when we met. Why am I here? Why am I here? He said, call unto me. In one minute, we're going to pray later, but in one minute, can you pray? Say, Lord, open my eyes to things about my life that I might not have known. Open my eyes. I've always thought I was supposed to be this. But Lord, I'm not too sure. Open my eyes. Can I have a confirmation? Open my eyes. <laughs>